What's up guys, welcome to episode 32, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 32 of the like Monday Night Wars. 22, Chad, you can't do it again. I'm gonna do it every time we reach, no, 32, 42, 52. What about? Season 2 of the Monday Night Wars, yeah. I am Chad Talks, joining me as always is, Jim at Gaming. Hello, Chad, welcome to episode, you already, you already did that promo, never mind. Yeah, I already did it. Yeah, you're a little late to the party there, bud. Yeah, I missed the invite to the party here. We're here at Monday Night Raw. Did I, I, we, I did change the arena today, so we are in Michigan. Let's Ooh. run the show. We have a... Uh, oh, our hometown, Justin. Michigan's a state, Chad. Our home state, Justin. <laughs> Devin Storm, Dan Severin, one-on-one. -on -one. Dan Severin pins Devin Storm in 750 with a belly to belly. What do you know about Dan Severin, Chad? Not much. Do some research on him. Okay. Did, did you finish the research? Yeah. What'd you know about Dan Severin? I know he's a uh, big MMA guy. Oh, Chad actually did homework. Yeah. We have a uh, six-way on a pole match for the pre-show belt. Yokozuna defends the pre-show belt. Wow. The first defense of all time here for the pre-show belt. He takes on Barry Windham, Mark Mara, Orlando Jordan makes his debut here, Ricky Banderas, and Spike Dudley. So Yokozuna defends the pre-show belt, Chad. Hell yeah. Orlando Jordan here. How, what do you know about Orlando Jordan? Oh, what do I know about Orlando Jordan? I know he uh, was part of JBL's cabinet back in the day. One of the best intercontinental champions of all time, am I right? Oh, and how. He was actually United States champion, Chad. I, I, I tricked you. Oh, I've been bamboozled. Oh, no. What happened here? Oh, I, I, I threw in Tim White. Oh. Who <laughs> was supposed to be there? That was supposed to be The Rock. Oh, yeah. Well, those are two very different. Yeah, this, uh, this promo has shit the bed. If this Raw stinks because I Tim Whited it there... Well, <laughs> well, fuck, I don't even know how to start this now. <laughs> Tim White's just there. He says, hey guys, look, I signed a new contract. Uh, all right, the, the, the bullet points of this promo. Uh, Vince is leaving Raw for the, the time being. He's got to go deal with PJ Black on SmackDown. Uh, so Jim Cornette, for the time being, is interim Raw GM. Uh, and the main event tonight is booked. Uh, Christian Cage uh, cost Steve Austin the match last week, so Steve Austin will get his opportunity to fight Christian Cage tonight. So it'll be Christian Cage, Stone Cold, or Steve Austin against Christian Cage tonight. Angle and Kurt, or Angle and Kurt, Kane and Angle will fight maybe next week. Maybe, maybe next week. But uh, Cornette also announces at the pay-per-view those four men will fight in a fatal four-way match to get all these anger, anger out, all this bullshit out. They, those four men will fight at the pay-per-view. The winner will be the new number one contender for the Raw Championship against The Rock uh, in later time because we are moving towards Survivor Series and that match won't happen until December probably. Or uh, Raw, Descend I guess the winner will decide when that match happens. Oh, yeah? And Tim White will be the referee for it. That's why Tim White's here. There we go, Justin. You did it. That's fucking... This fucking promo was supposed to be 100, and I got a 46. Great. 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 That's gonna that's gonna ruin this first match. Randy Orton defeats debuting Billy Ryle here with an RKO. Boost? <laughs> Billy Ryle? Billy Ryle. <laughs> What do you know about Billy Ryle, Justin? Billy Ryle is a 20-year-old or 21-year-old kid from the tri-state area, and he's a punk, and he's got a belt. That's all you need to know. It's How all, can you argue that? It's all you need to know about Billy Ryle. Uh, King IK comes out, and he um, he calls out Randy Orton. He says, that belt does not look good on you, Randy. Neither does being a bitch. He says, that belt looks better on me. I'm King Iakea. And with, uh, what is a king without his gold? 
throne and his throne is that European championship. So he's 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 uh going against his better judgment um because he's still scared of Brock Lesnar and Future Shock. He wants he's uh he's initiating no uh in rematch clause. What's the word right before it? He's invoking his rematch there clause. There you go. I oh my brain fart right there. Okay, listen. Got you. I got you, Justin. So King IK wants that rematch against Randy Orton. Hell yeah. What do you What do you know about King IK? Uh, I know he's a king. Lenny Lane's in action next. Ed Raw, Raw's favorite superstar. Lenny Lane's coming up next. <laughs> Raw's. I love Lenny Lane. I gotta love. I love the gimmick where I just want to push Lenny Lane because you couldn't do anything with him. <laughs> so you're just like, hi, I'm here. Well, he defeats Bull Buchanan in forty and eight eleven with a memory lane. Hell yeah! This match stunk. Ooh, ooh! Brock Lesnar is making his way down to the ring, Chad. But he he looks at Mike and he says, "Mike, why don't you wrestle?" And Tyson's like, "Hey, what the fuck? Why don't I wrestle?" And Lesnar's like, "Well, yeah." I saw you in the ring a few months ago. I saw you at Hell in a Cell at SummerSlam. Let's get you in the ring tonight. So we got a tag match. Tonight. Lesnar and Brock in a tag match today, Chad. Oh, hell yeah, man. Uh, well, that... Oh, my fucking God. Well, well, Tyson got hurt, so that's why we don't have him in the ring. Oh, no. How bad, how bad did he get hurt? Oh, Chad, what's my favorite injury to get in this game? Oh, he has a distended anus. Or... It didn't even show it. Yes, he got a distended anus. Oh, that, that dreaded anus bug strikes again. Uh, Jushin Thunder Liger is watching the finish of that match, and he's shaking his head. He hates to see both Brock Lesnar and Mike Tyson and distended anuses. We oh, move well, on. I hate it, too. And uh, uh, Stash and Sutter in the ring, and Punk and Steel are on their way. And Stash grabs a mic. He says, "Hey, look, look, Punk Steel. I know we're not the most uh, deserving tag teams in the division here, and but how about this? How about if we beat you tonight, you give us a tag team title opportunity. You give us shots. You give Stash and Stud here shots. Who here in Joe Lo Arena want to see Stash and Stud win the belts later on?" And the, the fans, yeah, the fans are celebrating. They're cheering for it. Like, are you fucking Stash Stud? You guys have not won a match in six to seven months. All right, I don't even know who you are. I I remember you best from being a jobber as Hammer and Riggs in the in the flock. So yeah, we'll accept that challenge. Oh, sh- a flock shot at him. <laughs> Fl- shout out to the flock. We'll accept your challenge, and we'll make good. We'll make quick work with you, and we'll just keep moving on our, on our merry way. And um, and about that, a decent wrestling, not much heat. Stash and Stud win. Oh hell yeah! When uh, Stad Stud taps out CM Punk because Rikishi came out and slapped his big butt cheeks and distracted Second City Saints. Oh, his big butt cheeks. His little fucking cheeks. His little cheeks, they, he cost Punk and Steel a win right here. Oh, and then Kings of the Mountain are in action tonight, Chad. They take on the Shining Stars. Hell yeah, man. Frankie Kazarian, Jacob, Jimmy Jacobs, and Jeff Jarrett. Uh, two guys with double J's. Defeat the Shining Stars when Jacobs pins Epico with the Contra Co. Jeff Jarrett. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Christian Cage makes his way down to the ring. Stone Cold makes his way down to the ring. We get Christian Stone Cold tonight, Chad. And it gets a 93 Christian Cage defeats Stone Cold Steve Austin by submission when Kurt Angle returns the favor and distracts Stone Cold and costing him another win. Christian Cage gets the win. And then these guys just fucking absolutely destroy each other to end the show. It gets an 88. A rough 88 because the starting promo sucked. I think we're going to put an asterisk on this, Raw, Chad. I think we uh, have the, the, 
A Tim White Raw, we'll call yeah, it. I think I, I think when we do the rating wars, when you and you say I beat Raw, <laughs> I think there's an asterisk on this one. Well, we'll have to see. No, I don't. Who knows? Even if you maybe don't, I, maybe I, maybe I fuck up on accident. Even if then. you don't beat it, I'll give it to you because of this this asterisk. That's just not. It just doesn't count in the in the in the in the grand scheme of things. Because I think this this raw goes to at least a ninety ninety one with a good promo to start. But you might you might be right. I'm always right, Chad. We'll see you for SmackDown. Well, no, wait. That. We'll see you for Thunder. Yes. We'll see you for WCW Rising Sun. Oh, this is no, this is Nitro. We'll see you for ECW Hardcore TV. Yeah. Okay. All right, everyone. Coming off of the Tim White. Uh, Raw, we are... Now, Justin, I don't know if you remember this, but the very first time I ran in Puerto Rico, I had probably one of the worst nitros of my (laughs) life, and now we're back. I was like, you know what? Because I I did this when you went to Idaho and accidentally had a bad one. I said, I'm going to run in Idaho and see how well I do. So I gave myself a challenge, too, because I want, you know, I could come out and and have, you know, not make any mistakes or not risk it and have a better one, but like you said, there's an asterisk. I want I wanna put myself in an opportunity to really make a, a bad challenge. One because I ran an Idaho. You did it. No, it wasn't it wasn't bad, but it wasn't but it's the Tim White one. You know, there's the asterisk. You fucked up. Yeah, I fucked an accident. up. So I, I wanted to give myself a challenge too. All right, let's get into it. Yes. Oh, yeah, great. Oh. Great start. <laughs> we are here from Puerto Rico. It shows the recap of Thunder when D Malenko won the Battle Royal. And he says Halloween Havoc. Everything I've worked for finally pays off. You know, I have said time and time again that Dimolenko is one of the best technical wrestlers. The Iceman is one of the best. Ever, and, and, and every time I have the opportunity to, to, to show it, this company holds me back. Well, you can't hold me back anymore because I am here and I'm the number one contender and I'm facing Chris Jericho for the World Heavyweight Championship. You know, Chris, you talked about your Starcade little streak you've got going on your your Starcade run. The first match you mentioned was a tag team title win uh, victory you had with a team called the Masters of a Thousand and Four Holds. I was your tag team partner in that match. I carried your ass. That Starcade main event. And the only reason why you've won two other ones is because you never had the opportunity. You never had to wrestle me. Jericho, this match at Halloween Havoc is going to be extra sweet because I get to do something that is that I've wanted to do for a long time, and that's shut you up. See, ever since we we've with that tag team uh three years ago. We both went on two completely different paths. You see, you, you've won Universal Championships. You've won the World Title. You've won Tag Titles, and I've and the, but you're the you're the you're the you know you've got those the you've got the long surfer hair. You know you're you've got the charisma. You know oh ladies love you. You're so popular. I've always been held back. It's pissed me off because I'm a better professional wrestler than you ever will be. That Halloween Havoc, I had the opportunity to show it. I'm going to beat you, and I'm going to win that world championship. Jericho comes out, and he's laughing. He's like, <laughs> listen, it's listen, Dean, I don't know if you have your holidays mixed up. It's not April Fool's Day. It's Halloween. All right, listen. Maybe if you're really lucky, you can go to the store and buy a Chris Jericho costume, and you can go as a good professional wrestler for Halloween. <laughs> Dude, listen. All right, I'm going to give you the opportunity to bow out of this match, because let me tell you, I, I, I'm going to take no joy in what I'm going to do to you at Halloween Havoc, because listen, I'm going to do to you what I've continued to do every single time, which is outstage you, outperform you, and show the world why you're nothing more than a solid hand who has the microphone skills of a statue and who will never, ever be anything more than that. 
Dean Malenko, he's heard enough. He headbutts Chris Jericho and just and, and, and as Jericho falls to the ground, Dean Malenko, he drop kicks Jericho onto the ground. And then Justin, he puts him in an arm bar. And Jericho, he's you know, he's freaking out. He's like, ah and and, and, and you know, refs come in, they try to break it up, and Jer- and they they're able to pull him apart. But Dean Malenko, he he's had enough of Chris Jericho. I've had enough of him too. Oh, Teddy Long shows What's up. He says, hi. He says, he says, hi, I just wanted to say, holla, 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 I'm a referee. And I have this contract. And in that contract, <laughs> I'm refereeing this match that's coming up next. Holla, 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 it's going to be a tag team match, playa. There, I also booked a referee, Justin. <laughs> Don't feel too bad. Yeah, that's not the same thing. Teddy Long's <laughs> a good man on the mic, Chad. That's... Uh... That's like putting Earl Hebner on the mic for eight minutes. <laughs> uh, this, we have, Justin, we have lightning and thunder lightning here. Lightning and thunder. They're Puerto Rican local talents. And listen, I, I said if they impressed me, they can work in the States. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll send them a contract. And you know what? I think I will. Because they went, they had a, a terrible match. And but I see the potential in lightning and thunder they and two fives. That's they, they've got potential. No, they and don't. two cool defeated them, Justin. Oh my god! After the match, Scott Steiner's backstage and he says, "Every Nash wanted to talk a lot of shit about me." And and you notice he's not wearing his syndicate sh- anything. And he's back to his original Scott Steiner stuff. He's, he's said, naked. He's a, he said, besides Goldberg, none of the syndicate will answer my phone calls. They won't talk to me. It's ridiculous because I'm the whole reason why they're even relevant right now. Sting, Sting would walk down the street and people would walk past him and go, hey, you look recognizable. You look like somebody who used to be a professional wrestler. I can't quite put my finger on it. Now he's back to being a star. Diamond Dallas Page was an obscurity, losing match after match after match, and now he's a tag team champion. Kevin Nash, he, he won his first world title because of me. And, the only, and Christopher Daniels, we wouldn't even know who the hell he was. The only person who, who was anything before the syndicate came up was Goldberg. And he's the only one who should be giving me the cold shoulder, but he's stuck by me. I gotta tell you, and it's nice to know who your friends are. It's nice to see loyalty. Listen, all right, if I'm not in the syndicate anymore, that's fine. But I'm going to do what I should have done, and that's kick Kevin Nash's ass. So I'm going to put out a challenge to, to Kevin Nash. And Halloween Havoc, I want your ass. Scott Steiner challenging Kevin Nash to a match at Halloween Havoc. Ooh. Huge. We've got a match. So listen, before the match, it showed LaParka and LaSharka. You know, LaSharka said, listen, you know, like I said, LaParka, I told you I was going to get us back in the win column. And I, 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 I found something. I think it's going to be exactly what we need. You ever heard of, you know, how you, you ever seen the movie Space Jam? You know in Space Jam when Michael Jordan gives the Looney Tunes his secret stuff and they drink it? Then they get, like, super big and bad, brother? Well, listen here. I got just a thing. Look at this. It's my secret stuff. I call it clam juice. And listen, LaParka, all you got to do is you got to drink this clam juice. And I know that once we drink that, the power of the clam will surge through us. And we'll be two hungry sharks in an ocean full of fish. We'll be right back in the wind column. And the parker, he says, you know what? I'll try it. And so they drink it. After they drink it, they start hulking up. They're doing their best Hulk Hogan. They're amped up, Justin. And in about that decent wrestling, but not much heat. La Parka and La Sharka defeat Carly Cologne and Eddie Cologne when La Parka pinned Carly Cologne with a Sky Twister press. Who the hell is drinking clam juice? La Parka and LaSharka, and they beat Carly Cologne and Eddie Cologne. Who did a lot better than Lightning and Thunder. True, and unlike Lightning and Thunder, they're actually signed. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Steven Regal versus Low D. Steven Regal challenged Low D to a match, and this was a comedy match. This was a comedy match. It was full of antics and shenanigans. Um, and. Due to all the antics and shenanigans in this comedy match, um, had good wrestling. 
because Steven Regal's a good comedy wrestler. I have no idea if Low D can. Um, but you know what? Uh, Low D defeated Steven Regal with an aerial brain buster um, fo- that followed a pie to the face from Steven Regal. Mm. People love pies, right? I love pie. And it gave the crowd the much needed breather after the banger that was La Parca <laughs> and La Sharka versus the Colognes. <laughs> All right, we move on. We have here Bret Hart is backstage, and Bret Hart, he's getting ready for an upcoming match. But before he can even get there, he's attacked by Team Canada. They completely lay him out to the point to where, Justin, he has to be he has to be helped out of the ring and taken to the hospital. What could this mean for Bret Hart? Listen, Bret Hart and Owen Hart, they're taking on Team Canada. And now, Bret Hart's out of the match. What could this mean? I don't know. I don't know. Movie two, it is in the ring. He's got his he's got his ring bell and he says, You know, Chef Psychosis challenged me to a match for the world title in a rage in the cage. I don't even know what the hell a rage in the cage is. But I don't care if it's a rage in the cage match, a pancake on a pole match, it doesn't matter because I will always take the opportunity to take Chef Psychosis head off with this ring bell and finally get what's my destiny, the Universal Championship. So, Chef, my answer is unequivocally yes. And I hope you take a good look at what I'm about to do to my opponent tonight because that is a not even a third of the punishment that I'm going to give you at Halloween Havoc. We go to our next segment. A match. Hoovitude is in action. And he's taking on Jeff Hardy. And in a bout that had superb wrestling and good heat. Hoovitude defeated Jeff Hardy with a dragon suplex, Justin. This guy said, I'm going to run it in Puerto Rico as a penalty. And he's having a hell of a show. Well, I, I tried to make it fair. No. Um, and speaking of making it fair. I think something happened coming up that's going to really suck for your boy. Um, because anytime you go to the, the road agent note, something bad happens. But nonetheless, that bout that had superb wrestling and good heat. Ken Shamrock defeated Alex Wright with an ankle lock. Mm. All right, Justin, hit me with it. What happened? Oh, a neck strain. Okay. I saw neck and thought Ken Shamrock broke, broke his, his neck. neck. I was like, oh, no. But it's just, a neck, it's just a neck strain. That's... You would think better than a broken neck. Ray and RVD show up to a big pop from Puerto Rico. Everyone loves Ray and RVD. Um, and you know, Rob Van Dam says, listen, you know, everyone's been asking us since we won our number one contenders match for these tag titles. How did this all come about? Why did this team form? And it's simple. Ray Mysterio is one of the most gifted athletes in professional wrestling. I myself am one of the most gifted athletes in professional wrestling. Both of us are young, we're in our primes. The world is at our fingertips. And listen, you know, we 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 we, we spoke about what we want to do and we, and we, what we want to do is win championship gold. So we decided, listen, the two of us we're, we're one of a kind. And that's why we teamed up because we want to beat Sting and beat Diamond Dallas Page for those tag team titles because we know we're capable of it. And Rob Van Dam and Diamond or Sting and Diamond Dallas Page, you know, they they come out to the ring and they they you know they're they're like, <laughs> did you hear that Diamond Dallas Page? Did you hear that? Did you hear that D? Rob Van Dam and Rey Mysterio think they can beat us for the tag team titles. Listen, I don't know if you guys know this, but me and Diamond Dallas Page, we are. Uh, 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 Paige, how many times have we won the tag team titles? Two times. That's right. We are two-time WCW tag champions. And if I remember correctly, uh, how many times have Ray and RVD won the tag team titles? I mean, that's Paige. Zero times. Correct. That's zero. Two plus zero. Well, two is greater than zero. We've got that tag team experience. You see, me and Diamond Dallas Paige, we're best friends. You two? It won't even be a fight. I'm a legend 
in this industry. I'm the Icon Sting, and this is Diamond Dallas Page. He's got the most dangerous cutter in the world. What are you? You're a guy who does a you're too you're a guy who does a frog splash off the top rope, and a guy who wears a mask. And hey, ever since you won the world title, what have you done? That's a whole hell of a lot of jack shit. Whereas me and Diamond Dallas Page, we've been with the Syndicate, we've been winning gold, we've been winning matches. Rob Van Dam. You're a hell of an athlete. Both of you are, and I gotta admit, you guys, are you got you guys very well could be the future of this professional wrestling. But I tell you, when you lose to Diamond Dallas Page and myself at Halloween Havoc, it'd be a big setback, one that I'm not sure you'll be able to recover from. With that being said, Ray, let's see if you can recover because I'm challenging you to a match. Right now in Puerto Rico, and everyone celebrates because they're like, oh, hell yeah, Sting Ray? Hell yeah, that wasn't advertised, and Ray, you know, he accepts. Out of 99, hell yeah, and about that superb wrestling and gray heat, Ray Mysterio defeated Sting when they springboard her at Karana. And... Kevin Nash, you know, he he's he's you know he's he's on his way to the ring to go accept to, to give us an answer on if he's going to accept Scott Steiner's challenge, but he doesn't have a chance because Scott Steiner jumps him from behind and they start brawling and they brawl all over the arena. All through the crowd, the people of Puerto Rico getting their money's worth with this epic Kevin Nash Steiner brawl. That's how we end the show. Uh, that's how you end the show? And that's how we end the show. 96. 96. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I'm going to run it in Puerto Rico. Man, I wonder what, I wonder, can Teddy Long do commentary? You want to do some commentary? Can Teddy Long see how you do? <laughs> um, I don't think he can, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Holla, holla, holla. It's a tag team match, playa. All right, everyone, that was Nitro. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments, of course. We've got SmackDown and Thunder in the horizon. And then, Justin, next week are the go-homes. We're already at the go-homes already. Yeah, we are, Chad. Huge. Absolutely huge. All right, we'll see you for the go-homes. Damn right you will. Well, we're actually for see you for SmackDown right now. Well, yeah. We are here at SmackDown, and I, Justin, I gotta tell you, I have not looked at a single thing you've booked. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right I gotta now. Tell you. This ain't beaten. This is not gonna beat your show. This is not gonna beat Nitro from Puerto Rico. No, not a fucking chance. If this beats Raw, I'll be happy. Oh well. If it gets a blue number here, I'll be happy. Okay. This is one of those ones where I'm just like, all right, we gotta tell stories and. I'll... Not have main event matches every time. Right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Oh, we have Edge in the pre-show defeating Slick Wagner Brown, returning Slick Wagner Brown, returning meaning he he was in NXT. Uh, I think he was drafted in the supplemental draft, and he was hurt when that happened. So uh, he's making his in-ring debut here on SmackDown, and the pre-show loses. He gets a 51. So it's Is that a sword Slick Wagner Brown is holding? Yes, sir. Oh, he's like he's like Drew McIntyre. He's like Drew McIntyre. What's his sword's name? Uh, Demi. Demi. Sick. Uh, in our other pre-show match, Brian Anderson beats Great Sasuke in eight ten with a cattle mutilation. Getting, oh great, yeah. Getting our tag team. Oh, he's not tag team champion anymore. Right, he's not. Oh my god, he lost. He, he lost to you. Well, hot shot those tag titles, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, okay, all right, all right. All right Let's keep that same energy this month. <laughs> hey, no Tim White tonight. <laughs> we start off the show Triple H immediately to the ring. Immediately to the ring. He wants, he wants, he wants all the action. He wants all the smoke. He calls out Eric. He calls out the Paul White and his rats. They all make their way to the ring, Chad. They're in the ring now. They're in the ring. They're in the ring with Philly's finest security, too, because Eric Bischoff brought in security as well because he knows Triple H is hot and heated. He can't f he can't challenge for the title as long as Paul White has it now. Yeah. Who knows who's going to beat Paul White for the championship as well? 
And Triple H. You do. You know. Do I? I mean, you might not. I don't know. Do I? Do I, Chad? Do I? I got to move the mic closer to me. And I'm going to move it farther. Okay. Uh, No, he wants a match tonight. He wants... His re- he wants revenge on the two men that cost him the belt last week. He wants a one-on-two handicap match against the tag team champions of the world, the Rap Boys. He doesn't care if it's handicap. He doesn't care if the numbers are against him. It doesn't matter. He wants to beat their asses, and Eric Bischoff agrees to it tonight. And then as soon as that happens, the Rap Boys try to go for a sneak attack, and... Uh, it doesn't happen because Triple H spine busters uh, Fig and gives a pedigree to Chad Collier while Paul Paul White looks outside of the ring, looks on as Triple H just destroys the two rats here tonight. So that is our main event tonight, Chad. Triple H oh. in a one-on-two match against the tag team champions of the world, Chad Collier in the big rig. And I'm finally wrestling Triple H. Yeah, finally in a main event. Oh, main event, main event Prongle. He should wouldn't change his name. Oh, we have an opening match here tonight. Mikey Henderson has made his return to the ring as well, Chad, as he was oh, another sick. supplemental draft, uh, supplemental draft, uh, draftee, and he was also hurt. And he makes his return tonight, taking on the light heavyweight champion Mystico. And he lost, but he gave it a valiant effort and got an eighty-two. Mystico was just that damn good right now. He's dragging everyone to good matches. Oh well, yeah, good for him. Who is going to beat Mystico? Put your comments down below. Who's going to do it? I'm going to guess. That's, that's a good question. I must know. Yeah, Mr. Go asked that too. He has a mic and he says he asked the same question. Who's going to beat me? No one back there can beat me. Hmm. No one backstage can beat him, Chad. Oh, here come the Los Guerreros, the Guerrero Dojo, whatever you want to call them. They're in tag team action tonight as they take on two members. Of uh, the CMLL roster, Chad. They take on Dr. Wagner and CMLL World Heavyweight Champion Cybernetico. Oh, hell yeah. It gets a 93. Eddie Guerrero and Latin Lover defeat Dr. Wagner Jr. and Cybernetico in 1488 yeah. when Latin Lover gets the win. I didn't see you book this, but I did hear your verbal frustrations. I can only imagine Cybernetico and Dr. Wagner Jr. were so happy to do whatever you did to them. Uh, no, I was trying to just get them one-on-one matches with Latin Lover, and they just went. They didn't want to. They didn't want to come over and lose on one-on-one. So this is where the tag team match came in. Got it. Got it. We we move on. My, my Nami Toyota is at ringside. She's watching this next match as it is a number one contendership match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Chad. Oh yeah. And we get. Taok 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 Takako. There we go. I had it the first time. She defeats Toshi Yumatsu in 1433 with the Yurakin. She also got the win last week in that uh four and four match, wasn't it? Three on three? So well, yeah. Inyo gets a big win here, and she will take on Miami Toyota in a huge match at Judgment Day. Oh well, yeah. Oh, the Godfather is running around backstage with his hoes. He's celebrating a big win, and Fruk says, hey, hey, man, I saw what you did last week, and it was not impressive. I don't know what you're doing celebrating with all the hoes. And one of the hoes tries to go and, like, rub Farouk's chest. She's like, ooh, and Farouk just slaps her on the way. He's like, don't touch me. Godfather, that was in, that was a disgrace. You are a disgrace to the to the, the to the wrestling business with all these ladies in the in the ring, all scantily clad, showing their boombas and bombas. I hate it. I would like wrestling back in its old days, where it's just big, big, muscly men just destroying each other. And now this is a circus act. That's all the freaks in the ring, all the hoochie mamas all around. I hate all it. the hoochie mamas out here. Now, how, how about you go find a TV? You go put your eyeballs to it, and you go watch a real man rustle in the ring. So Farouk will defeat Loki in seven twelve with a Dominator. So Farouk oh, yeah. not happy with all this hubbub about backstage uh, or in the ring. All this hullabaloo. Kid Cash is backstage. He's just lounging around, Chad. He's just he's not even backstage. This is Kid Cash being the United States champion, and he's this is his new gimmick, Chad. 
as he's going over to all the, the big monuments and the, all the landmarks in the United States as he's the United States champion. Tonight, he's at Mount Rushmore. He's looking at Mount Rushmore. He's making. He's he's calling it. Who care? Who cares about four old dudes and rocks? You know why isn't Kid Cash's face up there? He's the United States champion. Put him up there. So Kid Cash, going around America, looking at different monuments and landmarks, because he's the yeah. United States champion. <laughs> it's Pat McAfee and Vince McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> Vince McMahon, finally. PJ Black's suspension is over. And Vince McMahon calls him into his office tonight. He says, Hey, PJ, um, finally, you're gonna you're gonna you're reinstated back into WWF, but you're not gonna it's, this is just the beginning of your hell here. All right, you're going one on one tonight with a man who frankly is gonna put you Straight to hell. You go one-on-one with The Undertaker tonight. If you think you can disrespect me, you can disrespect my daughter like that, you're just going to have to fucking pay for the consequences at hand. So take your PJ bike up now. Take your Makes his way to the ring with the bike, though, Chad. It's not a match with Taker, but if he doesn't make his way to the ring with a bike. Uh, exactly. And uh, Taker wins in 721 with a tom- tombstone. Oh, yeah. Just crushes poor PJ Black. Just crushes him. All right, we move on to our next segment. Triple H makes his way to the ring, Chad. He's taking on the Rat Boys. Rat Boys. And I did, about that a decent reaction and uh, a good a good in ring you know wrestling. The Rat Boys win. Oh hell yeah, we do. Time to play the game, bitch. Chad pins Triple H following interference. Oh, oh, oh hell, hell yeah, I do. And that is. I hit him. I hit him. I hit him with the rat trap. <laughs> Fig was distracting the referee. Paul White punches Triple H in the mouth, and uh, Chad schoolboys him. And that's the end of the match right there. And that's the end of the show. In '89, so better than Raw. So I was happy. I'm happy. Oh yeah, happy, happy, Justin. Yeah, but it's not better than Night Show. So Night Show is going to be the best. Chad will win this week. Damn right I will. Uh, You're damn right, son. What? Chad, Chad Collier and and Fig could not compete with Rey Mysterio Sting. I just couldn't. It couldn't happen. Uh, not yet. Give not it a, yet. Give it a year. Maybe, yeah, maybe right, after yeah. the show, their popularity will uh, skyrocket after beating the game. We'll see. We'll see you guys for Thunder. What's up, guys? Lots of shit is popping off today, and I'll tell you something that's getting popped. My this pussy? wonderful rating for whoa, uh, this is this, this, this thunder. It's this, this thunder oh. that I was gonna say. Oh. <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> you're 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 wrong. Damn. Damn. Another Damn. one for the good guys. Another one for the good guys. I was giving you a segue so you could spill the beans on somebody, but you you oh, wait you would shows up way off course. Uh, Owen Hart, you know, he talks about, you know, he's like, you know, those bastards, Team Canada, they attacked us, challenged us to a tag team match, and then the next week, before we could even accept, like, cowards attacked Bret Hart. And the reason why they attacked my brother Bret is because they knew that they can't beat either of us, and so they're trying to take us out so that we can't make it to fall, bro. Well, guess what? You'd have to cut my legs off for me to not walk down that ramp. I will be there at Fall Brawl or at Halloween Havoc. Why do I keep doing that? I will be there at Halloween Havoc. I don't care what happens. And listen, if Brett can't go, I'll get a tag team partner. I have a whole foundation behind me that can help build, that can support me. All right, so it doesn't matter. I will be there. Win, lose, draw, you whatever the case may be. Team Canada, you will face Owen Hart. You will face my family. And they both laugh. And they go, you know what, Owen? You took out Brett. And if you're, and Lance says, and if you're not careful, I'll take you out right now. Tell you what, Owen, you you talk about this foundation. You talk about this family behind you. Well, guess what? We're going to beat up Jim Neidhart tonight because I'm facing him tonight. And I'm going to beat him up. And after we take him out, that's going to be one less family member that you have. And then what happens next? 
Who, like, who's next? Are you going to take us on in a one-on-three handicap match? Huh? Whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter because there are new faces of Canadian wrestling, and you're looking at them. We're Team Canada. We're going to kick your ass at Halloween Havoc. I'm going to kick their ass now. USA. USA. We've got Samoa Joe making his second match on Thunder and then about that decent wrestling and a uh, little heat. Samoa Joe defeats Reverend Devon with a dragon sleeper. That's the second person he makes pass out. Yeah, Reverend Devon's not really a person though at this point. He's a he's a shell of what he used to be. Listen, Reverend Devon, you know, he just uh he's just uh he's he's just bad. Okay. <laughs> We are. Oh, I forgot. I still forgot to fucking book this. <laughs> I set up the angle and forgot to book it. Uh, Tammy Sitch says, "Listen, China, China, listen. I, I, I listen. You may think that I'm, do- I'm dodging you. You may think, listen. I understand that we're running out of time for you to compete in this, in this match. I, listen, I know I'm not dumb. You think I'm just avoiding you? I'm not. I tried calling. You never called me. I, I sent you emails. You never sent me an email. Okay, I'll tell you what. You know what? You know what? You know what? You were supposed to have your big match on Nitro." Get your way in to make a triple threat, and 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 you know that, that I I must have forgot my I'm a busy woman and it slipped my mind. So I'll tell you what you know what Nitro t- this week I promise you'll have that opportunity to get into that triple threat match. I promise. I absolutely promise. China's like, if for the sake of your face not getting punched, I hope you're right. That's that segment. All right. Ah, oh, Justin, look at this! We've got an in-ring debut! Some people may know him as Mark Marrow, but we know him on WCW as Johnny B. Bad. And in about that terrible wrestling and non-existent crowd heat, Johnny B. Bad defeated Danny Doring with a shooting star press. You tell me this man still can't work? He just had a shooting star press, brother. Yeah, he had a really great match. Out of 36? Well, I'm, I'm missing yeah. him. <laughs> welcome to night welcome to wcw johnny b bad welcome back raven is cutting a promo he says once again i am here today to even mark even mark in that locker room you see i want them to know that the reason why wcw is as successful as it is is because they've had me holding the torch and running it down field for this company you see i am i am forever the face of this company and when this match is successful it's because i've put this company on my back time and time again and i could take it all away just as easy i've given back to this company it's time i get something in return that's why i that's why tonight in my match i'm gonna once again take something with me when it's all said and done Who's Raven taking on? Oh, Evan Courageous is the answer. And about that, good wrestling. And a decent rest from the crowd. Raven defeated Evan Courageous with a DDT. And Justin, once again, it, a Raven and Abyss, they take some of Evan Courageous's luscious locks. Yeah, this has got to stop. Raven and Abyss, they, 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 they ruin the look of Evan Courageous. They take, they ch- ch- put a big old bunch of his hair once again, taking something with them as a prize. They take the hair of Evan Courageous. We have yet, yeah, well, man, two, two debuts in one show, man. You, you, you Thunder fans are spoiled. We have another debut. Super Crazy is here, Justin, and he is taking on Chavo Guerrero in a decent match. Super Crazy defeated Chavo with a crazy bomb. Crazy bomb! Who the hell is Super Crazy? He's super crazy. He's not just super. He's not just crazy. He's super crazy. This show is super crazy. I'm right it is. We got Rob Van Dam taking on Diamond Dallas Page. Ray and Sting fought... On Nitro, and they're fighting tonight in an exceptional match. Rob Van Dam and uh, defeated R- Diamond Dallas Page with a frog splash. So both challengers have beaten both champions. 
this this you have to think that momentum is on Rob Van Dam and Ray's side going into the pay per view. You would have to assume so, but you have to WCW, assume so. It's not. And we got Lance Storm taking on Jim Neidhart in a decent match. Lance Storm defeated Jim Neidhart with the Canadian Maple Leaf. What you know about the Canadian Maple Leaf, Jim? Uh, I know it is. It is on the flag. Hmm, you're so Canada. smart. I'm a smart cookie. And after the match, Team Canada beat down Jim Neidhart. <laughs> hey, yeah, man. He's the uh, Jim Neidhart is divorcing Natalia's mother in uh, in the. Oh, yeah, and the second oh, that's huge. Uh, F Psychosis is here, and he's he has a microphone, and he says, "I'm so happy that Hoovy accepted Rage in a Cage, and now I think it's time I explain to you what Rage in a Cage means. In this ring, surrounding us will be three steel cages stacked up. The match is simple. Every layer of the cage is a new layer." Of pain at the very top of the cage hanging above the ring is the Universal Championship all you have to do Hoovy is climb all three levels of rage in a cage and grab the belt but I promise you it won't be that easy because I will be there every step of the way and every level of pain and suffering that you go through it's just going to be more and more and more and more chances for me to to decimate you and to and to take you out and put you on the shelf and and hurt you ten times worse than you hurt me when you stabbed me in the back. I've defended Universal Championships before, and quite frankly, I've defended them against you before. But this one, this one means more to me. This one is one hundred percent personal and hoovitude. I am going to kick or ass and show once again why I am the best champion in WCW and then Chris Jericho comes out he says hi chef oh look at look at us our paths meet once again only this time I have I'm a champion too listen I uh, I, I I first of all can't wait for what is it uh rage in the cage is that what, you, what is it whatever I don't care uh, I'm excited I, you know I'm good for you but Something that I, I heard you say, and, and maybe I maybe I just need to maybe clean my ears out better. Maybe I heard wrong. Um, did you say you were the best champion in this company? Because I, well, I'm the immortal Chris Jericho. I'd be Hulk Hogan. You beaten Hulk Hogan, Chef? I don't think you have. Um, I'm the best champion, and after I beat Dean Malenko, that's gonna be apparent. Chef says, "Well, you know what, Jericho? But how about we? How about how about tonight?" I'll team up against the guy who you are going to quote unquote embarrass in Malenko. And you can team up with the guy I will destroy, Hoovitude. And let's just see who the better better man is. That's our main event tonight, Justin. Ooh. Ooh. Oh god. Oh the Oh, this this stinks. And then about that had superb wrestling and gray heat. Jericho and Hoovitude defeat. Chef and Dean, when Jericho submitted Hoovit's uh, chef with a lion tamer after blatantly cheating. That chef stuck. Psychosis was the weak link. That's a she- How dare you disrespect Chef Psychosis in such a manner? Hey, what did he get? 83? How did it do so bad? Did someone get hurt? A twisted knee. Okay, well. Thanks, Dusty. Don't look too happy to tell me that. <laughs> Ooh. And maybe we should put my son over instead. Ooh. At least we know the worst show this week. And the best. Yeah. That goes to you. Best you both. But I go, you know what? I bookend them both, you I'm know? I'm very mid, and you are very up and down. You're hit and miss. Well, you know, listen. I wonder. I, We're okay. I'm hoping Jericho isn't out out for a while. That would suck. That would suck. Yeah, man. That's you gotta roll with the punches, Chad. But you know, you know what? That may, maybe we just maybe we just award Dean Malenko a championship. Maybe who knows? There you go. We'll see. We'll see if for the go homes. Yeah. 